So in the last video, you made a standard solution of sodium carbonate. You added 1.2 grams to 250 milliliters of water. In this video, we're going to standardize it. So this is an alkaline solution. We're going to react it with an acid, hydrochloric acid, to calculate the actual concentration of our standard solution. So to do this, we're going to take 25 milliliters and put it into different conical flasks. I'm just going to do one but you'll have to do at least three for an accurate result. So I gave it a little mix, just to ensure it's well homogenous. Now I'm gonna measure up. Twenty-five milliliters. So we're looking for the line on our volumetric flask, and you want to get them equal and make the kind of meniscus, that U-shaped bubble, get the bottom of it level with the top of your line. Not too much. Just expel a little bit. Well, that's 25 milliliters. I'll just put it into the conical flask. And shut this and move it out of the way. So the next part is going to be to use an indicator that detects alkaline solutions to react. So I'll just touch the last drop to the side of the flask and set that down. For the titration, we're going to be reacting our sodium carbonate solution with hydrochloric acid. I'm just going to fill my burette with the hydrochloric acid. So drop it down. The hydrochloric acid I'm using is 0.0 or 0.5 molar. No hazards associated with this, but still, just be careful. I've checked my tap is closed. I'll start to fill up. You don't have to fill it all the way to the zero mark, as long as you just take note of where the the burette reading before you start your titration. So I'll take the one and set it to the side. Lift it up. And then just to take your reading, just carefully look. So mine is starting at 4.1. This is a two part titration, so there's two separate reactions. The first reaction, we add hydrochloric acid to the sodium carbonate to produce sodium chloride and sodium hydrogen carbonate. So it's going from a very alkaline solution to a less alkaline solution. So we can use the phenolphthalein indicator, which detects pH between 8.3 and 10. I'm just going to add four drops of it. One, two, three, four. So you see it's a nice pink color. I'll give that a swirl. And then get ready to start my titration. Use one hand to operate the tap and the other one just to swirl. Now the end point for this reaction, we're looking for a colorless solution. getting less pink. Still a slight pink, but I'm probably only like a drop away. Just add one drop. There we go. That's the end point. It's now gone from pink to colorless. I'm just going to take a note on my meniscus reading again. Oh, you at reading. So that's the first part of the titration. Inside this flask we now have sodium chloride 
and sodium hydrocarbonate. For the next part, we're going to react the sodium hydrogen carbonate with more hydrochloric acid to produce uh, sodium chloride as well as carbon dioxide and water. So for this we'll use a second indicator called methyl orange that detects pH between 2.9 and 4.6. We're looking for when the solution becomes acidic. So I'll just add four drops. One, two, three, four. And give it a mix. So it's sort of a yellowy orange at this point. I'm going to note my initial burette reading, which is the same as my final burette reading from the titration of the phenophthalene indicator, and then just do what I did before. So you can see there's sort of a pinkish colour coming in as I'm dropping it. Now it's a pink red color. So that's our end point for this titration. And again, I'm just going to note the final titer. And we can use this once you've done your repeats to calculate the actual concentration of the standard sodium carbonate solution that you made.